Hello there gorgeous gamers and welcome back to Pure Play TV and we've got another PSVR 2 review for you and this time we're taking to the open waters in Kayak VR Mirage, a really chill and laid back game that just so happens to be the best looking VR game my eyes have ever seen. Let's get in about it. I've actually had Kayak VR Mirage in my library since I first got the PSVR 2 headset earlier this year, though, and I am ashamed to admit this, I played it once, got the initial wow of the fancy graphics, and then moved on to shooting zombies and racing supercars. But this holiday season, 2023 for you future people, brought a special Christmas update to the game, and as my dreams of a white Christmas were pissed away by gale force winds and torrential rain this year, I couldn't resist the offer of a winter wonderland, even if it meant sitting in a virtual kayak. But first things first, what is the game all about? To be honest, it's about as basic as they come. There's not really much to do aside from ride a kayak across four locations. You've got a tropical paradise, a winding Australian river, an arctic waterscape, and some place in Norway. While I can't for the life of me remember the names of the maps, I sure can remember what they look like because they are honestly stunning. Creeping out of a dark ice cave into the low winter sun was blinding, with the sun bouncing off the ice. Likewise, emerging from the dim jungle river and out into the open shore with the sun bouncing off the still water, I was stunned. There's even the option to play one map during stormy weather, which does away with the sun and replaces it with the pale moon, thunderous lightning and heavy rain pounding the water around you. It's surreal just how good it looks. Even the training area in an indoor pool is impressive. The water reacts realistically as you slice through it with the tips of your paddle, which, by the way, is another impressive feat by itself. I've done canoeing and kayaking as a younger man, so I've got a feel for what's right, and Kayak VR Mirage nails it. Almost. It's not perfect. What is? But it's damn near close to it. You can even use your paddle to push off from objects, a technique every beginner learns on their first day in the water. Or, if you're an arsehole, like I am, with a constant lust for violence, you can find the tortoise and try to get yourself cancelled by Peter and the other hippies by smacking the poor sod over the head again and again. I half hoped that if I smacked him enough, I'd be treated to an easter egg of sorts. Maybe his shell would crack and he'd sink to the bottom of the sea and die, but I'm glad the developers are a little bit nicer than I am. As I said before, there's not really much to Kayak VR Mirage. Each map has a race option where you need to navigate through checkpoints as quickly as possible. Then there's Free Roam where, as the name suggests, you can roam. Freely, soaking in the sights and practicing your moves. There's also the guided tour option which puts you in the kayak but takes away the controls. You're free to sit back, relax and let the game guide you through its maps. And then the pièce de résistance at least during the winter months, is the special Christmas mode for the Australian level. Taking place at night to allow the sparkle of Christmas decorations to lead the way, this map and mode is by far my favourite. The jingle of Kringle flying overhead, the whiz and pop of fireworks erupting in the snowy night sky. It's all just simply lovely and festive. So while the weather outside is pissing cats and dogs, Kayak VR Mirage provides the winter wonderland I didn't know was possible. Sure, I prefer a VR game where I can walk through a winter wonderland, maybe pet a reindeer, throw a snowball or two, but this will do just fine. And that's all there is to the game. Four maps, a handful of play modes, and a bunch of collectibles earned through travelling set distances. You've got trophies too, but don't expect this one to be on your play rotation for long. Still, it makes for a great little demo to show VR newcomers. And for the old heads, it's a taste of what can be done in VR. And that's the end of this review. Thank you as always for watching and I hope you enjoyed this video and found it useful. If you did, do us a solid, go on down below, hit the like and subscribe buttons and give the bell icon a ding so you're notified whenever we've got new stuff for you to watch. I've been Chris, you've been gorgeous and I'll see you on the next one. Until then, cheers my dears.